Remarkably, it's possible to tell if a matrix is invertible or not just by calculating its determinant. If a square matrix A has a determinant that's not zero, then A is invertible. If, on the other hand, the determinant of A equals zero, then A is not invertible. This first statement is logically equivalent to the statement if A is not invertible, then the determinant of A is equal to zero. Since if it weren't zero, A would have to be invertible. And the second statement is logically equivalent to the statement if A is invertible, then the determinant of A is not zero. Since if it was zero, A would be not invertible. These four true statements can be wrapped up or summarized in the single statement that A is invertible if and only if the determinant of A is not zero. In other words, the conditions of A being invertible and the determinant of A being non-zero are equivalent conditions. Let's prove the statement that an n by n matrix A is invertible if and only if its determinant is not equal to zero. We're going to prove this by showing first that if A is invertible, then its determinant is not zero. And then we're going to show if A is not invertible, then its determinant is equal to zero. These were statements three and four on the previous page. To prove the first statement, let's suppose that A is invertible. That means that A has an inverse, so it's possible to solve the matrix equation A times X is the identity matrix. The solution X will be the inverse of A. When we try to solve this matrix equation by row reducing the augmented matrix, the fact that there's a solution means that A converted to reduced row echelon form is going to be the identity matrix. Now let's look at what happens to the determinant of A as we use these elementary row operations to convert it to its reduced row echelon form version. The row operations we use are things like switching two rows, multiplying a row, by a non-zero scalar, or adding a multiple of a row to another row. These elementary row operations have a precise effect on the determinant of the matrix. Switching two rows multiplies determinant by negative one. Multiplying a row by a scalar multiplies the determinant by that scalar. Adding a multiple of a row to another row leaves the determinant unchanged. Therefore, when we row reduce A to A tilde using a sequence of these elementary row operations, the determinant of A gets multiplied by a bunch of factors, including factors of negative one and scalar factors, but all of these factors are non-zero. So the determinant of A tilde, the reduced row echelon form, is going to be some non-zero number times the original determinant of A. Well, since A was invertible and its reduced row echelon form was the identity, we have that 1 is a non-zero number times the determinant of A, which means the determinant of A is not zero. That proves this first statement. The proof of the second statement is similar. Suppose A is not invertible. Then when we try to solve the matrix equation AX equals I, by row reducing 
the augmented matrix AI, we end up getting A converted to its reduced row echelon form, which is not the identity matrix. Instead, A is row reduced to some matrix A tilde with a row of zeros in it. We know that A tilde, the row reduced form, will have to have a row of zeros in it because otherwise, since A is a square matrix, its row reduced form would have to have a leading one in each row and therefore would row reduce to the identity matrix. But now, using the same reasoning as before, the determinant of A tilde is equal to some non-zero number times the determinant of the original A, since each elementary row operation just multiplies the determinant by negative one or leaves it unchanged or multiplies it by a non-zero scalar. And since A tilde, the row reduced version, has a row of zeros, its determinant is zero. Well, if zero is a non-zero number times the determinant of A, that means the determinant of A has to equal zero. And that completes the proof of statement two, and therefore the proof of the equivalency of a matrix being invertible and its determinant being non-zero. In this video, we showed that a square matrix A is invertible if and only if its determinant is non-zero.